Rolls-Royce has written to its employees today to warn about the risk of Britain leaving the European Union. Why have you done this? Uh, it's, it's all about uh, uncertainty in our position in Europe. Um, we, we have a very interconnected operation around Europe. Half our employees are in the UK, a quarter of our employees are in mainland Europe. We have some big customers in mainland Europe, big airline customers, uh, a, a big airline aircraft partner, Airbus in Europe. Uh, and we have a lot of our external suppliers. I mean, what you're seeing here is people assembling that engine, but it's made of many components, some of which we make ourselves and some of which uh, we buy in. And uh, co you know, collectively, there are, there are thousands of companies around Europe that contribute uh, to, to that engine. We're making investment decisions all the time about you know, where to place uh, different parts of our operation, where to place business like that, and uncertainty um, created uh, by Brexit um, puts a lot of those decisions on hold and, and that pause is something that our US competitors don't have to, to cope with uh, and, and that's why it's not so good for us. What about those who say that Britain will be absolutely fine outside the European Union, free to trade as it wants? Rolls-Royce is a big trading company, would it be happy being outside the European Union? Well look, we're a global business, we're a global leader in what we do uh, and three quarters of our revenue comes from outside of Europe. So we, we have to deal with whatever the outcome happens to be. All we're saying today is uh, a Brexit result would likely lead to a period of uncertainty. We need to make investment decisions throughout that period. We're going to be held back by uncertainty uh, and we could do without that. But we're absolutely going to continue to be a global leader no matter what.